Hi, I'm Matthew Milne, Technical Account Manager here at AWS. Today we're going to talk about how to optimize Windows workloads running on AWS Elastic Compute Cloud, or EC2 as it's more commonly known. In this video, we'll cover why you should optimize, how you can optimize, what AWS services we can use, and we'll do this by talking through the concept of optimization and showing you hands-on how you would do this in an AWS console with a live demo. Optimization is not a one-off exercise, but more of a continual process. Something that should be built into your team's operating model to review regularly. To simplify what is a complex topic, I like to think of the optimization process as a flywheel. A flywheel, for those unfamiliar with the term, is a large wheel or cog used in engines or heavy machinery. Its purpose is to efficiently store, then distribute energy to other parts of the machine. A flywheel by nature is difficult to get moving due to its large size but once started and properly maintained, can provide efficient power. If you can imagine that the EC2 server icon, pictured in the middle there, is a perfectly optimized Windows workload, then the steps outside are the continual review process we need to build and keep the momentum. If your instance is under-provisioned, you may find it slow to respond, users applications hang, or it's liable to crashes via resource exhaustion. On the flip side of this, if you over-provision your instances, you're at risk of paying for resources that you will not use. Okay, so how do we kick off this process and get the flywheel moving? At the top of our flywheel, we have the baseline step. Here we need to establish what we currently have in our environment, and we do so by using data. In this case, metrics data, like CPU utilization, memory utilization, and network input output. In AWS, we utilize the Amazon CloudWatch service to get information about how our instances are performing. More specifically, how much CPU and RAM or network we are consuming over time. We want to take these metrics and start from a baseline. If you've not already done so, I'd recommend that the CloudWatch agent is installed on all of your Windows Server instances. This will allow you to configure extra metrics such as RAM. These aren't on by default. My colleague Siavash has an excellent short video on how you can do this. The link is below. Now that we have our baseline matrix track within CloudWatch and our flywheel is slowly turning, we move on to the review stage. This stage is where AWS can do the heavy lifting, especially at scale. We launched a product last year that kind of flew under the radar a little bit. It's called AWS Compute Optimizer. Compute Optimizer is a free service that allows you to reduce costs by up to 25%. Compute Optimizer analyzes the configuration and resource utilization of a workload to identify AWS compute resources that may be under-provisioned or over-provisioned. Compute Optimizer then recommends you to right-size your AWS compute resources and switch to a different instance size or instance type to save costs. Compute Optimizer also projects what the CPU and memory utilization of your workload would have been on the recommended instance types. This helps you understand how your workload would have performed on the recommended options before implementing the recommendations. Not only is it a free service, but it could not be easier to set up. It's literally a few mouse clicks. Let me show you how. Once logged into the console, go to AWS Commute Optimizer. This is found in the Management and Governance section. The first time you launch this service, you're presented with a splash screen. Go ahead and click the orange Get Started button. On this screen, review the getting started and set up your account boxes and click Opt In. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Compute Optimizer will begin to review your CloudWatch metrics. And around about 12 hours from this, we'll be presenting you with recommendations. You can then access these recommendations just from the same place in Compute Optimizer. I'm going to pause right here so we can look at the final step in the process that ties it all together. So we've now reached the last step in our process, the optimized step. We've got our baseline. We've had Compute Optimizer make sense of the findings. So now we need to take action. After reviewing our recommendations, if an instance is under-provisioned, we can take an action to scale up that instance to another size or family. If it is over-provisioned, we can choose to scale in to a smaller size instance or make a call whether that instance needs to run at all. The last step in this continual process is to put a calendar reminder in. Let's re-review the findings on a per month or per quarter basis to keep this optimal. Now let's go over and check this out in the console. Okay, so we're back at the console. I've gone back into Compute Optimizer, and now we can see some time has passed. In my lab, I've got one under-provisioned instance, 
two optimised instances and one over provisions instance. Let's have a look at the under provision findings. So here it's telling me my T3A nano is not optimised. It is recommended scaling vertically to a T3A micro. Uh, but how has it done this? It's taken CPU, RAM and network metrics from CloudWatch and charted them against an optimised resource. If I choose option 1, which is the micro, you see where it would fit in by the orange dotted line. Currently I'm using 50% of my RAM. This choice would take me to 20% utilisation. If I want to make these changes, I can click here to take myself to the EC2 console. I need to stop the instance. This will then allow me to change the instance type. So I recommended a T3A micro. I go into instance settings, change instance type, T3A micro and apply. And the last step in the process is just to start that instance to get it running again. And that's it. Now optimised. Let's take a quick look at that over provisioned instance and see what was going on there. So in this case, I'm running a 5 or 5e extra large, and I am I'm not using it at all. There, there's there's very little CPU. Memory is not in use. It it's, looks like it's possibly been spun up an error. So in this case, what I'll do, and uh, to keep my CFO happy, is I'm just going to stop this instance. It looks like it was created an error, so we'll stop that. And that is all there is to it. So in summary, why should I optimize? Well, it's to get the best use of your resources and also to save money. In a large environment, over provisioned resources can cost a lot of money. It's best to power them down or to make them more efficient. So how can we do that? Well, we do it by using those three steps. Collecting a baseline, reviewing the baseline of Commute Optimizer, and then taking action on those recommendations. And what services did we cover today? We use CloudWatch, EC2 and Compute Optimizer. I really hope you found this video useful. Thanks for your time.